Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about the CDC feature in UpSolver. This demo shows you how to take data from MySQL and stream it in real time to Athena tables. And all of the changes are captured during this process. First, let's take a look at the data source in MySQL. The data that I've created in MySQL is pretty simple. It just has a few columns that has the band name and also the members of the band. Each member has its unique ID and also the current date. Next, let's go to Absolver CDC data source and choose MySQL. Here I can choose between an existing connection or I can make a new connection. For the sake of our demo, I'm going to make a new connection. Input the MySQL connection string, the port, in your MySQL database, username and password. You may click on Test Connection. The little green check mark indicates the connection is successful. The schemas and tables from MySQL instance should be populated automatically. And here we're selecting all tables under the demo schema by using the wildcard. This field also supports regex. So this example shows everything under test schema that ends with a two. The test table that I created is under the May test schema. Um, the table that I want to use is the band table. So I'm going to choose it. Optionally, I can exclude any columns from that table, but I'm not going to for this demo. For the output, I'm going to choose an existing Athena connection. Also, I'm going to input the database name and the table prefix of the tables that I want to write to. At the end, I'm going to choose the compute cluster that I want to run this CDC workload on. Also, I'm going to select the target storage on S3 as well. I'm going to give this configuration a name, and this is going to be both the name of your data source and your data output as well. Click on Continue. Now we're going to arrive the page that's going to give you the information on the progress of your snapshot. Also, you can monitor your error and also the progress of reading data from MySQL as well. So this is your monitoring uh, panel for you to be able to watch exactly how the data is coming in. You may also click on the output, which is the same name, uh, band CDC, and uh, you can keep track on the progress of writing to the Athena table as well. well. Now I'm going to quickly check on the data in Athena and just run a very simple query. And the data had arrived from uh, MySQL as expected. Well, that was very easy to set up. Now let's um, give it a try to see what happens if we insert some new data into MySQL data source. So I just uh, inserted a couple new band information. Now I'm going to wait for the output to be all caught up with the new data. Switch over to Athena and run a quick query and the new data showed up very nicely. Now that we see how easy it is to set up CDC, let's uh, try to change a record in our existing um, table on MySQL by doing an update. I'm going to update one field, uh, one cell um, from Tommy to Richie, and uh, let's see what happens. Again, I'm going to wait a little bit for the changes to show up and uh, run the query again in Athena. And uh, by now, as you can see that I can see the record being updated on the Athena side um, from Tommy to Richie. Next, we're going to explore an uh, additional feature, which is called split by table. So we can take a key column from uh, MySQL and uh, based on the key value, we can split them up to various tables. So let's get started. I'm going to choose the Athena data output since we're using the same exact uh, MySQL data source. So I'm going to choose uh, the um, band CDC 
data source that we created earlier. Also, make sure that you select a high article instead of tabular. Uh, and when, when we get to the output page, we're going to, we're going to add a line called data dot star as star to bring all the columns from the data source. And we're going to switch back to the UI, click on more and uh, configure multi-table. Now we're going to select a column that's we're going to split the table on. So right now, um, the column I'm going to choose is the band name. So each band will get their own table. Click OK. Click on Run. We're going to uh, select the storage for the Athena table. Also, you need to input the Athena connection and the database name. For the table name, just put the prefix of what you want the table names to be. Click on Next. And for this example, we're going to bring the data in from the entire timeline. You can leave everything on Never so that this is a continuous stream. Click on Deploy. Now that you can monitor the progress of your deployment, to switch over to Athena and uh, refresh my Athena tables. And now I can see the tables with the prefix that I defined is um, showing up and each band gets its own table. So I'm going to check the data very quickly just by running a simple select. And as you can see, the tables have the correct data in them. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.